Welcome to Tech News Briefing. It's Tuesday, November 21st. I'm Julie Chang for The Wall Street Journal. Amazon launched a new program that offers free artificial intelligence classes. It's called AI Ready, and the e-commerce giant plans to train at least 2 million people by 2025 on basic to advanced AI skills. Skills like how to make use of the generative AI technology that has powered language-based models such as OpenAI's ChatGPT. But why is Amazon launching this program? Here to talk about that is our reporter, Sebastian Herrera. Sebastian, before we jump into the why, tell us who is able to access these courses. Amazon says that these courses are free to access online through an Amazon learning website. And they say that non-Amazon employees can access this too. But it is targeted at people that are in this industry, people that work in tech or tech adjacent roles. Why is Amazon launching AI Ready? So Amazon says that they see a shortage in AI talent in the industry. They conducted a survey of thousands of employees and employers. And what they found is that a lot of employers say that they don't have enough talent with AI skills. And that varies from people who just need to interact with this technology in some way in their job to people that are actually building generative AI. So Amazon says by providing this training, they sort of can lift up the industry and the shortage. But really, there's other reasons why Amazon is launching this. It does help the company competitively. Amazon is competing with Microsoft, Google, and a lot of other companies for talent. And by introducing this training program, what they're doing is they're having a lot of people become familiar with their own AI systems because a lot of these courses are being run on Amazon AI platforms. And so by doing that, you could argue that it could be used for a recruiting tool. But also Amazon says that these training programs can benefit not just the, its own company, but partner companies that it has in the space and also enterprise customers that use its cloud and generative AI services that it can benefit those type of companies as well because those companies also need skills and talent in, in this field. Do we have a sense for how Amazon plans to use generative AI in different parts of its business? Amazon has mostly concentrated its generative AI efforts in its cloud computing services, AWS. So it's building generative AI tools there and partnering with companies to build generative AI tools there because a lot of companies need these cloud computing services to exist to do their generative AI work. It's also trying to make AI part of its company. So for example, it's trying to put generative AI in its Alexa smart speakers and its advertising services. It's trying to put generative AI in in its website search and reviews portion of, of its site. So what challenges exist when setting up a program of AI classes like this one? Well, we're in the state of the industry where a lot of companies are trying to figure out what sort of AI talent and skills are even needed. So there's a challenge in in just trying to create the courses that will actually be useful in the time that we're in. And the company says that these courses and this program is a starting point, that they'll try to learn from it and get feedback from people that are taking these classes to improve their training program. You know, this program seems to be a part of a larger AI investment by Amazon. What are some of the other AI investments that Amazon is making and why is it making such a big push now? Amazon has to make a big push in this industry because its rivals are investing a lot in generative AI. Microsoft and Google have made a lot of big splashes in generative AI in in recent months and in the past year. And so Amazon has to make its own investments and break its own ground in order to keep up with its rivals. This is especially important for Amazon because it has been perceived to be behind Microsoft, Google, and others in this space. It's made upgrades to its AWS Bedrock AI platform. Andy Jassy, Amazon CEO, says that he envisions the company make tens of billions of dollars in the next few years in generative AI. And he said that generative AI is now touching every part of Amazon. That was our reporter, Sebastian Herrera. And that's it for Tech News Briefing. Today's show was produced by Anthony Bancy with supervising producer Melanie Roy. I'm Julie Chang for The Wall Street Journal. We'll be back tomorrow. Thanks for listening. Thank you.